In addition to providing vocational training in the areas of information and industrial technology, Taiwan also engages in the long-term costlier undertaking of training medical personnel. The lack of medical resources is a problem most developing countries face. Taiwan's mobile medical missions provide services in many developing countries on a regular basis. As treatment of diseases must not be delayed, these mobile missions share the latest medical knowledge and technology with local medical workers. Moreover, the Taiwan ICDF has provided many medical workers with full financial support for internships and advanced training in Taiwan. Thanks to one of these projects, obstetrician Peter J came to Taiwan and received one year of clinical training there. Moreover, the building and main medical facilities of this hospital, where he works, were donated by the Taiwan ICDF. The outpatient service center at this hospital is called Rainbow Clinic. It focuses on AIDS patients, and the medical team in charge is from Taiwan. Due to a still poorly developed system of population registration and issuance of ID cards, the hospital at first had no comprehensive, reliable records of treatment and medication. Only after the Taiwanese medical team instituted a fingerprint identification procedure could AIDS treatment and follow-up monitoring be carried out effectively. To boost their AIDS patients' immune systems, the team also provides them, free of charge, with nutritional supplements produced by a small factory the Taiwan ICDF has built. Maria is a patient at the clinic. Her husband died of AIDS several years ago. After undergoing an HIV test, she found out that she too had been infected. She told us that for a long time after being told about her infection, she could do nothing but weep. When Taiwan's medical team told her that appropriate treatment would allow her to keep raising her children, she felt great relief. The team encouraged Maria to make handicrafts to earn some money. Even though she doesn't make a fortune, she told us that people won't despair as long as they have a goal and something to do. When asked what she most wishes for, she said she would like a sturdier house and hopes her children will be free from the scourge of AIDS. With AIDS, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Nurses from Taiwan's medical team travel daily to villages and rural villages to educate local midwives and the general public about the importance of safe sexual conduct and to reduce the neonatal mortality rate and the HIV infection rate. In some areas, they have also set up simple delivery rooms to ensure expectant women receive proper care. Sexual activities and also the unlucky or health. They also utilize blood donations to screen for HIV among those who are fearful of taking a test. Now 
，这是我们的成就感。当装备比较差的时候，那代表的是技术的变好。有的时候病人去世不是因为手术的原因，而是因为其他的装备或什么配合不上，会有一些挫折感。Over here, we've often seen team members doing several jobs, fitting two days of work into one. They humbly say, however, that their efforts are simply a way of repaying the love shown by foreign medical workers who once served in Taiwan. While many Taiwanese are contributing their skills around the globe to help those in need, People from all over the world are undergoing training in a host of fields in Taiwan. Though they differ in nationality, skin color, and age, these men and women share a common hope that tomorrow will be better than today, and that the next generation will be better off than this one. Who knows what they will be capable of achieving? 大学的时候有修西班牙文，对西文还有一点兴趣，所以就想说要到一个西语系的环境来看看，感受一下不同的文化，享受一下你年轻人年轻人的潜力，增加一些人生经验吧。这种经验在台湾是感受不到的。出来之后，嗯，可以从外面去去感受台湾在世界上是怎样的一个立场。曾经有一个念头是想说，哪一天我有钱的时候，我可以买一艘船的米，然后送到非洲去，也许可以为这个世界上的其他人做些什么事情。我在这边找到很好的伙伴，然后也找到一些可以学习的典范。我相信在我这边自己对自己的成就会比较多，多过于他们，因为我相信他们从我身上学到的东西，绝对没有我在这块土地学到的更多。一个人在这边生活，难免会觉得孤单，但是其实一点都不寂寞。Nor is Taiwan lonely, because whenever it reaches out and gives to the world, the world responds. By coming to our shores. Thank you.